Welcome to this first installment in our SFZ file format tutorial. We'll be using uh, Plug Sforzando Player, which is our new SFZ 2.0 player based on the ARIA engine, which we've developed internally. So in here, by default, it requests you to have a file. If you don't have any SFZ material already, you can create your own, uh, provided you like typing text stuff. So if I can imagine lots of people are going to stop the video right now. For the rest of you, uh, here's what it is. Um, SFZ requires to have region definitions to be filled in. Uh, there are countless opcodes uh, that define how uh, sample mapping works. Um, but for now, I'm just going to do the bare essentials. I'm just going to do sample equals. I have a folder here on my D drive. I'm just going to copy and paste this. Enter, although you don't have to type enter. Control save, and let's say we call that hello world.sfz. And now I have my file here. I can drag it. And you see uh, the player has detected it's an SFZ 1.0 level file. It has one region and one sample. By default, it's going to stretch the sample on all the possible range. There is a limit at which it plays an area because of various optimization, but anyway, you never want to play a sample that high. It just sounds so ugly. So, uh, the reason why it's stretched on the whole keyboard is because, uh, by default, unless you type some specific opcodes in the text file, the SFZ is just going to revert to whatever defaults are defined for that particular region. So, you can look at the cakewalk. Um, definitions for all the upcodes and you're going to see what it is. Let's say we want to limit this. So I'm just going to say, I know, the, like I know, because it's the mini note uh, 36, which is the equivalent to either C3 or C2, depending on which standard you, you like. So I'm just going to say um, low key is going to be, let's say, I'm just going to go, I don't know, um, say this. So you see, at least the low has been limited to that. But that doesn't sound right. It's because the sampler doesn't know the root key of this. So by default, internally, you have something called pitch key center. And by default, it's 60. We can see if it's right by clicking on So this is the normal pitch for the sample, but we don't want it here. We want it there. So what we'll do is say pitch key center equals 36, save again, and then now it sounds right, but then of course it's just going to stop playing because it plays too fast in the higher range. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to limit it in the high region as well. Say high key equals, uh, let's say, 42. And there you go. Although we might be nicer and say 40, I'm sorry, not that, 41. And we know we have another file for the mapping here. So that's the fun thing about SFZ. If you like find and replace, if you like batch scripting or whatever, if you love, if you're quite handy with a text editor, then you're laughing. So I'm just going to start by 42, which is here. And say, I'm just going to go, I don't know, something. And fix my pitch key center for 48 for this region. Save, and now I have the full mapping for my two samples. So this is where the transition goes. Um, if you have a folder full of sample with, with at least one sample per key already sampled, instead of doing this, you do key equals 48. Key is a shortcut to fill low key, high key, and pitch key center to the exact same thing. So if I go low key 36, 36, and 36 here, I'll have just that. But if I put this in comment, or just wipe it and say key equals 36 instead, then I'd get the exact same thing. 
So this concludes the first part of this tutorial series.